When looking through the forums out there, I was busted by a viewer for driving with one hand. BB Man of Austria caught me driving with one hand on the shifter for a very, very long time. This pointed out to me how lazy I can get as a driver at times. I combined that with us getting a lot of questions on how to be a better sim racer. And I thought that a good topic when it came to being a better sim racer. Removing distraction and paying attention becomes job number one. These sims today are putting our cars through the rigors of racing very close to real life. And it needs to be treated that way if you ever expect to compete against the aliens of racing with any success. Removing distractions, having a solid racing rig or pod, and paying attention can be more of an advantage than the best setup for a car out there. I will guarantee that the more you focus and concentrate on your driving, the better you will become. Removing all distraction or potential for distraction is hard to do. If you are in a real race car going 100 miles an hour, it's pretty hard to get distracted. Racing from the comfort of your home isn't the same. It is all too easy to, out of the peripheral view, have a cat, a child, hey, Sean, what you doing? a friend, a tree blowing, the television, or many other things pull your eyes away from the racetrack. In racing, braking zones and turn-in marks can be timed down to milliseconds, and to look away will make you miss your marks by football fields in length. Audio distractions can also be a huge problem when it comes to driving. We are all guilty of having a cell phone nearby or an answering machine that can be heard within the room. I have even raced with the radio going or again the television being on. Or nowadays, people might even be racing with open chat going via TeamSpeak, Ventrilo, or other communication software. Hey man, how many laps do you pit? All of these things can also take away from your ability to give 100% to your task of driving. Pressing a button and holding it down to chat to a teammate is going to affect your ability to drive perfectly. And to top off those kinds of distractions, the games themselves have their own built-in distractions. I've been guilty of watching the positions of drivers in relation to me, watching a clock showing the loss or gain of a half a second gap over the guy behind. I also like to sometimes watch my sector times to see how this lap compares to the last one. Pesky cat messages being displayed while driving. While sometimes these things are necessary, they are also distracting from your ability to hit your marks. My point here is really this. We aren't just playing a game anymore. We are racing. We are racing for real, and it needs to be treated that way. Imagine Michael Schumacher taking a cell phone call during a hot lap at Monaco. It's not going to happen. But I guarantee you this. If you take your SIM pod, turn off all the lights, turn off all the TVs, the phones, Put the animals outside, put the kids to bed, cover the chat area of the screen with tape, and stop watching that clock while driving. If you do these things and really watch the way you drive, watch your braking points, hit your turn-ins, apex every corner, keep two hands on the wheel at all times, I promise you, if you do all that, you're going to see a difference in your lap times. It was a great idea to do a uh, segment on focus, Sean. Yeah, well, I'm not always uh, paying attention. I got busted doing so, and I thought everyone does it sometimes, so maybe everyone can take a little from that piece. Yeah, I know I did, because uh, you know, I don't always stay focused. Anything outside uh, distracted me, and I'm, I'm in the wall. <laughs>